All right, so today we're going to be taking the fuel bowl and metering block off the carburetor. Doing this because I've had some stumbling with the motor on acceleration and heavy loads where it lose RPM. We've figured out that the primary metering block here is not giving it enough fuel for whatever reason. There could be some debris or some gunk clogging it up and not giving it enough fuel that the motor needs so we're gonna go ahead and take it apart and see what's going on inside there start with the fuel line here which is a 5 8 Five sixteenths for the primary bolts. Now this is going to be full of fuel, so I do have my mat here to hopefully absorb most all of it. And there goes a ton of fuel. block off here. This is the primary metering block for the carburetor with the primary jets and the power valve on the back. So I'm going to take this into the shop tomorrow, clean it all out, make sure the power valve is okay, and possibly increase the size of the jets to give it more fuel. All right, so I just finished pulling the primary metering block and fuel bowl off the carburetor to be serviced tomorrow, have it cleaned and inspected. While I'm down here, figured I would do a quick engine room tour of the 1983 Silverton 34 convertible. These are 2007 Chevy small blocks, Vortec motors for about 315 horsepower. Similar block and internals to a automotive motor but some differences include the heat exchanger instead of a radiator which is water to water instead of air to water marine exhaust manifolds that are also water cooled so you don't have hot exhaust manifolds inside the boat two large oil filters which are easy to access which are really nice doing oil changes and then a heavy duty marine starter which is significantly bigger than a automotive application. 
power is transferred from the motor to the transmission and then with a 1.91 reduction ratio out to the propellers underneath the boat. On the other side, same thing, another motor tucked away up under the hatch. Just barely fits underneath there. So that's a quick engine room tour. Nothing too crazy going on in here, unlike some of the bigger yachts. This is just two gas motors and nothing too wild, which makes it easier for servicing and parts are a whole lot less expensive than a big diesel. So it's a trade off there, but these push the boat more than enough down the water and have plenty of power to get up and go. I've even pulled some people on uh, wakeboards and water skis behind the boat. So it's got plenty of power and plenty of acceleration with these gas motors here. It just, it's a boat, so there's always some maintenance to be done and something to be fixed. But it's all part of the fun.